world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Today is one of those fantastic days again where we are doing an unboxing. Um, well, I don't know how much of an unboxing it will be. Um, but I ordered things and I got things, so let's see what I got. Um, I'm still expecting two more packages. Um, and as soon as I get them, I will show you. Okay, we're using this Stanley quick slide because this thing is pretty fantastic to quickly open it. Okay, I bought everything you're going to see for the next, I don't know, a long time um, from Take A Lot because my knife guy went to your blade show. Um, so he's not taking orders. And that means... I have to look at different places, which I'm glad about because it makes you see different things. Okay, so let's see, what do we have in here? Let me just move the box away. Okay, in here I have a new copy. No, this is not the one I wanted. This is a ratchet one again. Okay, I didn't want the ratchet one, so I don't know what happened there. Then we have a Gonzo. Okay, this one I'm also not going to show you because this one is for my Fun Knife Friday. Then we have this a Rough Rider. Okay, maybe we can look at that one. And then here we have another Rough Rider. Okay, so that's it for this box. Let's quickly look at this guy. Because I suppose I have to show you something. Okay, so this is perfect everyday carry rough rider classic carbon carbon steel with yellow composite handles that never goes out of style. Cool box, looks like old and stuff. Let's see, RR one seven three four. Okay, and this is one of the older ones, but it's got a cool box with the magnetic lid. Nice paper. Oh, this looks nice. Okay, a bit dirty. Let me just get something to wipe this blade before I show you. Okay, but it's Rough Riders. We all know they tend to come a bit dirty. And it looks like this. Beautiful mirror finish. We have the Rough Rider over there. We have the Rough Rider bolsters, little pinched bolsters. We have this yellow Delrin or whatever. Okay, very little to no gapping here at the back. Can't feel the transition, so, uh, transitions, although it does look like that one is a bit low, but it feels fine. Beautiful brass liners. Back lock, let's see. Nice half stop. Nice. Not a very strong pull, maybe a four. Okay, it's stronger here at the top than at the bottom, but I'm pretty sure if you wash the pivot or flush the pivot, it will be fantastic. Okay, now I got this thing after my other hawk ball. Um, because remember the other hawk ball, I tried to carry that as an EDC knife for a while and it worked quite fantastic, especially for a box opener or something. Everything is nice and flush. I quite like the, the shield over there. Here we have the RR and then whatever is written there, very small. And then the number with China. On this side, we only have the line for the line bolster. And a little pinch there at the top. Okay, so this is very cool. So I'm going to take this thing, flush it out a bit, play with it a bit, and then I will show you a comparison between this and my other Rough Rider Hawk Ball. Maybe even throw in a few extra ones. Okay, this is nice. Okay, good job. Thank you, Rough Rider. This is quite cool.
How sharp is this thing? Okay, feels quite sharp. So there we go. Rough Rider Classic Carbon. Um, so this is a carbon steel blade, if I'm not lying to you, because it doesn't say it's normal stainless steel, razor sharp, whatnot. Um, Rough Rider, for more great products, go there. Carbon steel with yellow composite handle. Okay, I don't know what carbon steel this is, but I'll do some research and then next time I should be more prepared and be able to tell you exactly what's going on here. So, that's going to be me for today. It's a Tuesday. Nobody likes Tuesdays, but it's a Tuesday. Let's just get through this. Stay safe, happy and have a good one. Goodbye.